Hello. For today's tutorial, I'll show you how to apply dreamy makeup by using some of my customized brushes in Ibis Paint. This is an intermediate tutorial. It might be a little tricky with the use of layers, and if you already can work with the layers, this tutorial will be much easier for you. To understand more, please oversee the whole process, and I'll be using Daniel's voice throughout this tutorial. LMAO. The resources used for this tutorial will be shown throughout the process. And before anything else, you may watch my recent tutorial on how to edit smooth bases for your edit since I'll be already using a pre-made base for this tutorial. Do not forget to turn on the stabilizer tool and the force fade. So starting by adding 5 multiply layers, 1 overlay layer, and 1 add layer with a total of 7 layers. If you are struggling with the use of blending mode layers, this is how you change its blending mode. I've renamed each layer with their respective parts. Contour, blush, eyeliner, eyebrows, and eyeshadow. And those are the 5 multiply layers. You can work with only one multiply layer if so, or merge everything down if you're already done with that particular layer as long as it has the same blending mode. Mode, the overlay layer for the highlights and the add layer for the highlight details. After preparing the layers, you may proceed first to the first layer. Contour using the color drop tool. Place it over to the mid-tones of your reference. Then apply it to the nose, jawline, etc. Once you're done with the contour, if you think it's too visible or vibrant, you may decrease the layer's opacity, which goes the same with the upcoming layers. Next, apply the blush on the cheeks over the nose using a reddish or pinkish color. To copy the iconic blush of Bella, erase the upper part of the blush to create a concealing shape under the eyes. Then slightly blur it by using a blur tool. You may also apply the lip tint as well. Now that we're already done with the first two layers, you may now merge them down to decrease the number of layers. Always remember when merging down layers, it must be the same blending mode. After that, we'll be now working with eyebrows. By using this brush, you'll be able to draw the brows instantly. Just use the same color from your references eyebrow by activating the color drop tool. Then merge it down since you're done with that layer. Moving forward for the eyeliner, apply some thick stroke to the lash line. It doesn't matter if it looks terrible at first since we would be adding some shape by erasing it. Then slightly blur it to blend with the skin and make it look natural. Then merge it down again. As the process goes by, we're now at the eyeshadows part, which is the main thing we'll have to work with. I'll take inspiration from the eye makeup I've seen from Pinterest. To begin with, I'll be following a color palette to match the colors from my inspo reference. Then I'll proceed to the first layer of the shade, the pink one. It's like painting an eyeshadow in real life so imagine you're doing a makeover to someone.
If you are done with the first layer, you may add another multiply layer for the second shade of the color, then proceed to apply and achieve its gradient effect. Then use the same process for the third color, and do the same thing for the other eye, and I'll be cutting that part through. Again, if it's too vibrant for you, just decrease the layer's opacity. We're done with the actual makeup, and now we will be adding some highlights on the overlay layer. Using your desired highlight color, I'll be using a little touch of blue and gold. Apply it to the nose bridge, chin, philtrum, eyelids, and any highlighted face area. Moving forward for the final layer, add, apply some small details or, more likely, some glitters to spice up the makeup. For the last part, I'll be using micromade lashes that you can download and import. Check the link on the description box for these pre-made lashes. And now you're done.